Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this video, we're going to be creating a command handler for the different commands we'll be creating throughout this series. And so, previously we had just multiple if statements, and those are good for if you want a simple bot that only has about two or three commands. Um, but if you want a more full-fledged bot, you're going to want a command handler so that things are more organized and you're able to do um, more things and more complicated things with this bot. So first thing we're going to do is hop into your index.js file and then specify collection within this declaration. And a collection is basically an extension of the map for JS with more utility methods that we're going to be using throughout this tutorial series. And then below we're going to create another constant constant fs equals require fs and this is the file system module which allows us to read and write to files and do different things within the file system through node.js and then client dot commands equals new collection this is the collection that we're going to be storing all of our commands in so now Hop into your directory and create a new file called or a new folder called commands. So we're going to be storing each of our commands inside of its own separate JS file. So I have one already here, ping.js. Create this. And the first line we're going to write in here is going to be constant slash command builder. And that's going to be equal to require at discord js builders and in order to actually use this you're going to need to install at discord js builder so you can say npm install at discord js slash builders and once you run that it'll be properly installed all right so once that's done then you're going to need to create module dot exports and this allows us to actually use this command in other files. So module.exports, first thing we're going to have is data new slash command builder. And we're going to set the name. So dot set name. The name will be ping. And then dot set description. This isn't necessary, but it's good for once we start creating um, help commands and other things so this we'll just call this replies to ping with pong and then async well we need a comma after here async execute interaction and await interaction dot reply pong so it's going to reply to the message that it receives with pong so save that and that's all we need to do for our ping.js file so hop back into index.js and we'll continue so now we need to actually get those command files and store them within our collection so we're going to say constant command files equals fs dot read dir sync and what this does is it gets each of the files within the um, within the folder that we specify so dot commands and puts them and puts all of their names inside of an array so we're also able to filter it so dot filter and we're going to filter it so that the file that we get or all the files that we get have the ending of js so file dot ends with dot js so this is this is ensuring that every single file that we get is a js file and we're not accidentally getting a file that we don't need to get and then we need to actually put this inside of our collection so we can say for constant file of command files constant command equals require dot commands and file so we're getting the file with that line 
and then add that file to the or add that command to the collection so client.commands.set command.data.name and then command all right so that's all we need up there so now hop back into your message i already deleted everything that was inside of there so you can do that as well so first it's state if not message dot content dot starts with config dot prefix so if it doesn't start with the proper prefix then we're just going to return just like last time <laughs> and then we're going to need to get the var command so var command equals message dot content dot substring one And then if not client dot commands dot has command. So if that command is, doesn't exist within our collection, then we're just going to return as well. So nothing happens. And then we need to try catch statement. So try and then catch error. And within the try statement, we're going to state await client.commands.get command.execute message. So this is actually executing the command. And if there's some sort of error, then we're going to log that to the console. So console.error. We're going to log the actual error. And then reply to the message with the following content will be there was an error and then also add for ephemeral true all right, and then remember to use these awaits, you're going to need to have an asynchronous function. So add async before message and let's save and let's see how it works. So node index.js. All right, and the error was simply, I needed to add an S to this commands slash file. So make sure you do that if you didn't already. And let's hop right into the discord. So now we can say ping and as you can see, it replies with pong but if we change this to pong exclamation point and then say hello and then rerun it now let's try it again ping or pines with pong hello and so for all the commands that you've already created just follow the same process create a new file within your commands folder and this will already dynamically um, check for each and every one of those commands so you don't have to add a new if statement you don't have to add do more work than you need to so you can create as many commands as you want and have each of them act independently all right so that's it for this video i hope you guys have enjoyed this has been steam code if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below and i will see you next time